Hello everyone, today we are doing another colour series and I don't really know what type of blue look to go for today. Today is blue. I don't know if I want to go like navy or baby blue or like what we're going to do. We are going to play around but I'm going to start with my base today and I'm very excited. This video is brought to you by Benefit and we're going to be trying their brand new foundation. As you guys know, I've been quite a fan of their Hello Happy Soft Glow Foundation. I'll put my first impression down below. I've used it quite a lot since. I just really like this. It's like a really lightweight, like more natural foundation. But they have brought out a new one, which is a lot more full coverage and a very like glowy finish rather than this one, which is like more of like a, I don't know, blur kind of finish, matte-ish, natural, low coverage. This is the Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. SPF 15. It's so perfect for the daytime. It's got a little bit of sun protection in there. It comes in a bunch of different shades but I just kind of asked for the ones that could potentially match me instead. So I'll swatch the ones that I do have here so you guys can see what the colors look like on my skin. So this is a medium coverage foundation which is amazing. Like usually I do go for something like medium kind of fuller coverage. Sometimes I like something more natural hence this one but I think this will be really fun to play with for like makeup tutorials and stuff. Medium coverage 12 hour long wear formula. It has photochromic pigments which are supposed to like adapt and brighten your skin in any lighting so the colors are supposed to work for like I don't know how to say it. like they're supposed to adjust your skin tone so you get a really good match if that makes sense there are flower acids to help boost radiance so it's a more like glowing kind of formula I think we will soon find out and it's also got hyaluronic acid which helps to keep your skin hydrated oh my gosh this is the first time I'm actually like looking at the packaging it feels really really nice it's a glass bottle with a pinky kind of lid metallic pinky lid it's got the little smiley face on the back which is so cute. I said that about this packaging. I was like, oh, it's so cute. So um, I think I got shades one through to six. So I'm going to swatch each one on my skin for you. So I've got shades one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my number six is kind of smudging. I feel like that is going to be more. Actually, that might even be too dark for me even when I've got fake tan on. Number five looks more like what I'd be with like a fresh fake tan. My fake tan right now is like three or four days old. So it's like mostly faded. This shade four, that looks quite nice for today, I think. And we've got shade three, two, and then the palest one. What are they called? Photochromic pigments. I just read up about it and apparently it's supposed to be like, I don't know how well this is going to work, but I mean, we'll soon find out. It's supposed to be kind of like, you know, those sunglasses that react with like sunlight. So like if it's a dimly lit area, they like lighten up. And then if you go out into the sun and it's super bright, they darken. Like it's supposed to be like that kind of concept, which is kind of cool. I don't know how well it works, but we will see how well shade four reacts with my skin. The undertones look really nice. I typically am quite a big fan of benefit foundations like I've used them for quite a few years back in the day I used to use the like oxygen wow which I don't think you can get anymore so needless to say my expectations are kind of high right now so I've got a sponge here I'm going to just start with maybe one pump so that is a full pump and I'm just going to dab it out it feels super super lightweight like I can't feel it at all it's very liquidy and that one pump is going quite far I have to say oh my god look at that wrist <laughs> How? So I'd say like at the moment that's like a light to medium kind of finish. It does look very, very glowy. Um, it's giving off a really nice dewy finish as you can see with the light hitting it. The undertone looks amazing. This color it seems to be like going super well on my skin as well. Like it matches really nicely. Do another layer and we'll just see how it looks. I'm just going to keep like one thin layer on my forehead. I don't know. I like when my little freckles show through sometimes so i'm just going to do a thinner layer up here just to see how it looks that color is like 10 out of 10 do you guys think like with the amount of fake tan i have right now i'm just trying to see how well it's kind of covering under my eyes as well like where i've got really dark under eye circles i feel like it's done a decent job so i definitely agree i definitely think it's more of like a medium coverage but you can definitely share it out a little bit like apply less and get a more light coverage and I also feel like by adding another layer, you do get more coverage. It's definitely not full coverage and it's not cakey whatsoever. Like it is so thin and breathable. Like it does not look heavy. If you're looking for something like heavy full coverage, this is not it. This is definitely a more wearable like day-to-day -day formula, I would say. Like very comfortable. I'll just show you super up close. Hold on, that's way too dark. I'll keep it like a little bit dark just so you can see like the texture of my skin. I've got like redness right in my nostrils so I can see that but 
Yeah, I think it looks stunning. It's just sitting really nicely on my skin. That's no primer. It just looks really soft and plump. Like even over my nose, I've got a lot of blackheads right now and it still doesn't accentuate all of those pores or anything. So far, so good. I love the packaging, like that's my favorite part. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go straight onto my eye makeup. I'm gonna let this just sit and see how it kind of like looks, see if it adjusts at all, see if the color changes. I'm just blending a little bit better on my chin because I missed a spot. The color definitely looks nice. It's not super orange or anything. Like I feel like the undertone is like spot on for this fake tan anyway okay i'm gonna go in to her eye primer this is the p louise base in shade two i'm going to use this to kind of like carve out my eyebrows i just got them tinted at benefit too that's when i picked up these foundations um i got them done at the brow bar in ponsonby in auckland because it's my favorite and they do hamish's eyebrows too and hamish is way too scared to get them done anywhere else so from now on like whenever we go to auckland he's just like we need to go get our eyebrows done please shan i'm like yes we love a man who grooms his brows and there is no way in hell Hamish trusts me to do it. <laughs> Fair enough though. I can definitely notice like now just waiting a few minutes since the application of the foundation it has dried a little bit more matte but it's not matte like it's still a very kind of like I don't know natural glowy finish but it's definitely not like light reflective like it was like it's just a very natural like in between slightly matte too i don't know just very hydrated looking so that is all like blonde adult i think i will start with this dense shadow brush and i'm going to start with the shade moonlight which is like a very soft baby blue i think i'm just gonna begin with this so i can go deeper from there and i think i'm just going to start by applying this just in that inner Part of my eyelid very pigmented as you can see i'm not into just like crazy blue eyeshadow so this is very far out of my comfort zone this is probably the most scared i've been for any of the color looks in the rainbow series so far i don't know like i can do like navy blue navy blue smoky eyes like they can look so sexy but yeah i'm like nervous about this situation and that's why i've like gone straight into baby blue because i'm like if i do navy blue that's just so like simple for me and so like in my comfort zone and the whole point of the series is to really like push my boundaries so yeah i'm going to next to go in with this shade which is called dabadi is that what it's supposed to be it's more of like a purple based blue but it's definitely still blue I'm gonna blend these colors soon. Duh. Just like <laughs> placing it first. I kind of love these shades. I'm not going to lie. I'm gonna use this Kylie blender brush because I swear every single one of my blender brushes right now is covered in like some weird assorted color. So I need to clean my brushes. I'm gonna take the shade Laguna, which is totally unnecessary because literally there's like a dupe in this palette, like that starry eyed color. This one in the corner. Boop. I don't wanna damage it, but this one right here, it's like the same thing. But you know what? I just want to use this palette too because I love it. I'm taking a small amount on my little Kylie Jenner brush and I'm going to just attempt to buff out those edges a tiny bit. Oh, this is where it could go very bad. I'm so stressed. Every freaking time I do a video lately, I get so stressed because of all these colors. I'm stressed. Stressed and depressed. Ah! I just tossed my brush. So if you guys could hear some of the music I play sometimes, while I listen to my music, you guys just would not follow me anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to touch up the more like purpley color. That's the problem when you do like monochrome looks. Like I feel like half the time, like some of the colors get so lost because they all start to like blend together too much almost. Or maybe that's just because I'm shit. Okay, now I'm gonna take this clued in shade, which is like a very dark navy. Even though I just said I wasn't gonna use navy, I am. I'm going to apply that to my outer corner and pack that into the outer crease area, outer corner out of there. This palette's actually really good even though I hate the colour scheme. I'm actually applying now and I kind of like it but I'm not gonna admit it, you know. And I'm not getting like any fallout I don't think. Oh I've got like one speck. It's pretty good. I'm taking a little bit of the shade Fine China which is this like bright blue and I'm just gonna add some of this too because why the heck not. I don't like this blending brush very much. I feel like it used to be good, but the more I use it, it just starts getting so out of control and putting color everywhere I don't actually want it. I'm going to use this round eye brush, which really buffs out color to try and just smooth it all. And I'm going to go back in with Moonlight, which is the baby blue. It's very pretty. And I'm going to literally just place this over the entire area where my blue ends and skin color begins. And then we will add a little bit more of those colors back in if we cover them. See, like it's just smoothing it out a bit. I sound like 
a robot right now. It's just because I'm concentrating. If I ever sound really bored in my videos, it's probably because I'm concentrating and I can't multitask and try to be entertaining. The side of my face looks so much better. Okay, just before we go ahead much more, I just want to take some kind of like highlight shade for my brow bone. Um, I'm actually just going to use this color out of my Hamptons Weekender Contour Palette by Tarte. And a little bit of shimmer. We are going to work more on these blue eyes, but I just want to do some more of my base first. I'm going to go in with my airbrush concealer by Benefit and just use this on my petal brush. This is number one and just conceal under my eyes and clean up this blue. I'm going to just conceal it outside of my eyebrows a little bit just to sharpen the appearance of those. Hopefully this blue look comes together soon because right now I look like a clown. All right, next up something else that's very exciting is also powders, which I'm very excited to try a new face powder. So I always use the same ones. I've got my holy grails, so who knows? This could be a new holy grail. Okay, I think I will just take shade four to match the foundation I put on earlier. This is the Jewel Coverage Powder Foundation, Velvet Powder Foundation. I suppose you can use it alone, but I just want to use it on top of my foundation because I always use powder foundations on top of foundations, liquid foundations. Because that's just how I roll, and that's just how I've always rolled since the womb. Well, slash since I've started wearing makeup, I guess. Sometimes I'm so annoying. Okay, so the packaging is really cute. It's a little love heart on the back. Um, Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation. It's got a beautiful little smiley face on the front. It's quite a big packaging. I like the color, how it's like skin tone color. It's kind of cute. And okay, so there's a little brush underneath, which I probably won't use. And the powder itself with a mirror. Use a brush for light coverage or a sponge for medium slash full coverage. Choose your coverage with this breathable velvety smooth powder foundation. I'm going to use a brush because I don't want to use a sponge and go like to full coverage since I already have like foundation underneath. So it looks like this. I'm using a little kabuki brush and I'm going to apply this on my face. I might actually take one of the lighter colors and try it under my eyes and stuff too. I still feel like that was good coverage with a brush. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel drying. I'm gonna take shade two under my eyes. Oh, I almost broke my nail. Should I try it with a sponge under my eyes? I'm nervous. I might do it. Looks like this when you use the sponge. Ooh. Definitely looks a little bit cakier when you use it with a sponge, obviously, because you are um, packing it on, but I thought this would be a disaster and I feel like it's not a disaster so I'm really pleased. <laughs> you can definitely get a much heavier coverage with the sponge and it's not a disaster. The powder doesn't go wet either. Like that was a wet sponge or damp sponge and the powder did not go all crazy. So I'm actually really keen to try that all over my face at some stage using a sponge. Let me know if you guys would be keen to see that. I feel like my base looks very flawless. It still doesn't look cakey and heavy though. Like you can still see a little bit of redness. It's definitely like more of a medium coverage. It's not a thick, heavy, cakey finish. It is natural still. But with the powder, I definitely look much more matte. So I think at the end of the video, we'll just do some setting spray just to bring back a little bit more of the glow to go with the blue eyeshadow. I want something glowy, not something too matte and heavy looking. So far, I'm impressed with the foundation. I'm definitely going to keep trying it out and I'll report back with you guys, letting you know how it wears like over time as well. I'm going to go back in with my primer and just, whoops, cut out my crease a little. I'm going to try this really light blue from the palette. Hopefully that's somewhat even. I'm going to go in first with the shade Lumi, which looks like a duochrome. I have no idea how this is going to look on the eye, but I'm going to go in on the very inner corner with this. I'm so impressed with Colourpop eyeshadows. They are some of the best for some of the best prices. Such a cool colour. It's like friggin', I don't know, like a little fairy garden. <laughs> I know that's lame, but that's what I think of. Did you guys used to have those books as a kid? Like, I feel like this was a 90s kids thing. And there were, like, books with fairies in them. I don't know. I'm going to try and, like, pop up a picture on the screen of what I'm talking about. Because I used to love those books. They were called, like, The Fairy Garden or something. My mum used to collect them for me. And all I wanted to do was rip them up and put them all over my bedroom walls. And I knew she would murder me if I did that. So, never did. Although, Shenixo would no longer be... A thing. Okay, that color is amazing. Amazing. Like, it's probably nothing I would ever reach for on an everyday basis, obviously. I would never think to use it, but on the eye, that is so pretty. And then I'm going to take this navy blue just for some contrast. <laughs> Once again, totally went for the navies. I know, I'm a failure. And I'm going to apply that just like over the edge. 
blending that in with the darker outer corner color. This color is effing amazing. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the Tide Pool shade, which is the middle shimmer, brighter blue, and just apply that right on the ball of my eye to try and blend the colors together. I might go back in with that really light blue as well. Dare I say it, but this might be one of my favorite color series looks I've done. I'm not joking, I'm dead serious. Like, I kind of love this. Shimmers are so pretty. I feel like we bought it together, like, you know, at first it was looking really shit, and I feel like it looks really nice now, so I'm really pleased. Eyebrows, to finish those off, I'm just gonna go in with shade 3 of Gimme Brow, my favorite brow mascara, just to, oh, frick, I did not mean to do that, just to set my eyebrow hairs in place. Since I did just get them tinted, um, this will just, yeah, set them in place, give them a little bit more color. I don't want to do, like, heavy block eyebrows with this eye makeup, because it'll just start looking too intense. Like, just keeping everything a little bit more natural with this type of eye makeup, I think, just looks a little bit nicer. I feel this amazing blue eyeliner called Bounce It by Smashbox, and I feel like it's a different type of blue to anything on our eyes, so I might just add a little bit more variation. It's more of, like, a purple-based blue, but it's definitely blue. Alrighty, so I've just popped on some Illusion Lashes by EXO Beauty. I'm reusing them, and... They're currently not sticking, but we will get there one day. So while I give them a while to try and stick, I'm going to contour quickly and then we'll do some mascara afterwards. I'm just going to contour using the same palette we used for highlighting our brows. Using the shade Farmer's Market. The foundation's really easy to blend on top of, which is good. I noticed some powders, when I use new powders, sometimes I can't blend really nice and smoothly on top. I don't know if you guys ever get like that, but... This one I'm having no issues with. To really make the um, eye makeup pop, we are going to use a really orangey based bronzer, which is one of my favorite bronzers of all freaking time. Like, you guys don't understand. This palette, the Cheek Ladies, <laughs> it's my favorite. I literally cannot put this thing down. I've been using it all the time. I've been traveling with it. I'm gonna use Hula Caramel, and I know it looks like I'm putting on a shitload, but it just blends out easily, so I just like go all in. And I'm using a um, Shimmer Tulip brush just to blend this over my cheeks. And I'm not gonna use, actually I might use blush. And then just to contour around my like forehead and nose and stuff, I'm gonna mix together Hoola and Hoola Caramel. Just go straight over the top of my nose. Sorry, the dogs are going off at the posty right now. And I'm also gonna go in with Coralista blush because it's peach toned, so it should really pop with those eyes as well. It's very natural as well. Just to give a little bit of a flush. I'm just going to go in with my Exo Beauty Lash Applicator Tweezer and clamp the falsies to my natural lashes, like so they are as close to my lash band as possible. These are life changing. And then I'm going to coat my lashes in some Benefit Roller Lash, which is my personal favorite at Benefit. Feeling good. I feel like my friggin' makeup matches perfectly too. Like I feel like this is one of the best foundation matches I've had in so long. Like, it's just, like, perfect. I feel like my lash is, like, hanging on for dear life on one of the corners, but hmm, we'll pretend like we're fine. And I smudged some mascara, so I'll just wait for that to dry and clean it up soon. And in the meantime, I'm going to go back into my palette one last time and use the highlighter called Cookie. This is a very shiny highlighter. It's beautiful. This is a detail face brush. It applies it just amazing and makes it look like it is one with your skin. <laughs> like it doesn't make it look like it's just sitting on top with all these little glitters. Like, it buffs it in and just makes it so shiny. A bit on the tip of my nose. You don't have to do that. I like doing it. A little bit above the eyebrows. I'm just gonna finish off with doing some cookie on my inner corner. I'm just gonna use my little nipple brush. Just concentrate that right on the inner corner just to brighten up that area. You know what? Under my eyes is not creasing whatsoever. Like, I thought using that powder foundation under my eyes, it would just go crazy and cakey, but like, it looks so smooth. Now we've just got to do the lips, guys. So I'm just going to keep it very simple. Once again, I think we'll do something slightly peachy just to complement all of the blue and really make it pop and stand out. I might actually use one of my Sephora collection lip colors. You can also get the benefit stuff off Sephora, by the way. I'm going to start with this light color. This is called, I don't know, oh, shade four. This is a cream finish. And it's super beige. I did a lip swatch video of all of these. I'll try to remember to link it below for you. Otherwise, you can just search Shanix or Sephora lip swatches. And then just to avoid the hard art concealer lips look, we're going to blend in a little bit of shade 6, which is also a cream finish. 
just to add a little bit more dimension but still keep it very nude and I think that looks so cool I was not doing blue lips guys like don't even get around with me but I'm so proud of myself for stepping out of my comfort zone like this honestly like it's turned out so much better than I thought it would everything looks so nice I'm just doing a little bit more blending I'm so proud of me I feel like my eyes look very red right now they're very dry that is the finished look. I think my base looks amazing. I just zoom you out a little bit. Like honestly, that color match though, it does not feel like I'm wearing heaps of foundation. Like I literally feel very, very light on my face. It does not feel like I'm caked in makeup. Thank you so much to Benefit for working with me on this video. Benefit is definitely one of my favorite brands, especially my eyebrows. What would I do without benefit eyebrows? If you guys enjoyed this color series, please thumbs up. What's next? Indigo is next. Wait, what's indigo? Is this indigo? Is it indigo? No, I feel like we can do something more navy for the next one then. I feel like indigo is more like navy, like slightly purple, you know, and then we've got violet after that, so then we can do something more like purple. So yeah, that's my blue. We've got a little bit of like sky blue, light blue, dark blue. Um, I feel like that's good, you know, and then the next one we'll do more navy and I'll do a different technique, a different look and just make it look super different to this one that I've done today. So this is more of like a sexy glam look. What should I do for the next one? Like what vibes do you guys want to see? Comment below. Bye.